Hello everybody, welcome to PH Balance. My name is Steven with the PH and welcome back to Pokemon Snap. Now in this episode today, we're going to be playing some new maps, some new areas. Because in the last episode, uh, at the very, very end, we unlocked the beach and we unlocked the desert. So we're going to be starting off with the desert today. I got my cactus shirt on. So then the next time we play, we'll be playing through the beach. I'll have some nice little beachy Hawaiian goodness going on. But for now, we're going to stick it to the beach today. We're going to get some awesome uh, photos of the, of the, the, the desert Pokemon. And it's going to be a good time. So thank you for coming on this adventure with me. Go ahead, subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and let's get to it. I'm going to start off this episode by going back to the original two levels because we did level them up. Ooh, something looks different already. Who's that right in front of us? Who is that? Let's find out. Ooh, that is a Leafeon. I saw you. Beautiful. Beautiful. What are you? You're a Mudkip. Or a Mudkip's evolution. Ugh, I wish I went that way. Looks like there's a way to get behind the waterfall. Okay. It's all about you, Leafeon. You're my main focus. Oh, no! Dang it, I pressed the wrong fucking button! No, I'm sorry, Leafeon. No! Damn it! Throw a fucking apple right at her face. What an idiot. God damn it. I had the perfect photo. I like how it's like level two. The Pokemon are getting more comfortable with you. And then all it is... Is... Everyone's asleep. They're comfortable with you. They're not on guard anymore. So now they're asleep and you can't take any good pictures. Motherfucker, I was so... Close to getting that Leafeon. I love Leafeon. I think Leafeon is a really awesome evolution. Kind of sucks. I've gotten him enough times to know that he's not a great Pokemon, but he's cute as hell. There we go. We're not going to fuck this up this time. Sorry, I wanted to give you an apple. There's a way to get in the waterfall, but how? I don't get it! I don't get it, fam. I know what the scan is. It's gotta tell me there's a way to get behind the waterfall, but how? Oh. So we figured it out that time. We know how to get back there now. Try it one more time, I guess. Go, 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 go. Go! Where's the scan? Where is the scan? It's not showing it. Go. If only that Lipard would get out of the way. What Lipard? God, that was so fucking lame. Ugh. All right, new area, ladies and gents. Let go. Let go my ego, you know? Ooh, already right off the bat. Boom. Boom. Hey. Hi. I knew it. I knew it. Ugh, God damn it. Some tracks. I'm sure we can go that way in a bit. But we won't worry about that right now. No, we won't. Dude, that was nice. I bet you a Pokemon's causing that sandstorm. Oh, whoa. Oh! Oh, I can't... Oh, because I don't have that yet. I keep trying to throw... Oh! God dang it, man. Careful, I'm running low on memory already. Ugh. Well then, if we've already seen a Pokemon, we won't take a picture of it. Unless well, it's a really good picture, because I only have nine shots left. Oh, that was pretty cool. We got some good stuff, brother. Perfect! Scorupy! Heliolisk. Heligo risk. <laughs> that was fucking stupid. Hippowdon. Ooh, beautiful. 
there's just some money makers in every single level. It doesn't matter what the photo is, you're going to get some nice pointage, and he's one of those. Torchic! I love Torchic! Always my starter in Gen 3. Ruby and Sapphire. Beautiful. Let's do it again! Let's get that cash money, honey! Let's get that cash money, honey. Do you like apples? Do you like apples? Yeah, he likes apples. Yeah, yeah, go. Eat an apple. Eat an apple. Oh, ooh, even closer. Beautiful. Oh, that's cute. Oh, you're cute. You ate that quick. Trap pinch. Trap pinch. He evolves into one of the coolest little dragon guys I've ever seen. So maybe we'll see some of those dragons later on. Very exciting. We just leveled up the sand day. Oh. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you already. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are all squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. It's gonna be a nighttime shoot, baby. Always is, always is. It always is, it always is. A nighttime shoot. It always is, it always is a nighttime shoot. But ba da ba da it it a skiddly wap skiddly hoot hoot. We've run out of buttons to press, so it's not going to be anything like that. Looks like you've gotten some great research done in the desert. I suppose it's time to take the next step and have you go there at night. Once you photograph the Illumina phenomenon in action, I can make Illumina orbs for this island. Well, then we should get to that, right? Did we ever mention the fact that we're doing the desert level and I'm wearing a cactus shirt? Look at that. That's nice. We're gonna play Desert Night. Yes. And then we'll play Desert Day again, because we leveled it up to level two. Let's do it. Whoa. Beautiful. That was a sand true. That was a sand true. Got cactus guys running. Whoa, holy shit. What the fuck just happened? That's terrifying. It was like a meteorite. The fuck was that bullshit? Holy cow, man. I hope he's okay. I feel like the music really doesn't do anything. Like, a Pichu will occasionally smile, and then the other 50 Pokemon I encounter in the level won't do jack shit. It's a little lame. It's not as cool as the old game with the music, at least. But, you know, can't win them all. What are these things? What the fuck is happening? What the fuck, man? They're like werewolves. Dude, this place is creepy. Jesus. They're terrifying, man. Straight out of nightmares. I feel like there's nothing to scan, too. There's the lit up crystal bloom. Yep. Gotcha. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was that the one I needed to take a picture of, or does it not matter? Fucking A, man. What is that? Damn, man, this is cool, but scary. Whoa. Hey. They're just used to all this shit exploding? What's that? Got it, Violet Core. Damn, man. I didn't see the first one that fell. This is the most mysterious fucking place at the moment, is the desert. We don't have shit falling from the sky anywhere else. God, man, it's crazy. And terrifying. Actually terrifying to be out there taking pictures. I didn't think so. The very first Pokemon stat, the Kangaskhan was on like a giant rock overlooking the ocean. And then in this one, he's in the desert. I didn't, I didn't think Kangaskhan, I didn't think Kangaskhans were uh, desert Pokemon. Interesting. I couldn't even use that one. It has to be the glowing up one, which it didn't give me any time to take a photo of because I just fell down the second I passed it. All right, cool. Now we know. Chaos Scan, new Pokemon for the photo decks. Sandshrew, also a new Pokemon for the photo decks. I love Sandshrew. I don't use that many ground Pokemon, but Sandshrew has always been one of my favorite Pokemon. Minier. Never heard of him before. Wow. 
That's crazy. We already got level 2 for night. Another step forward for our research. I bet the Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. Let's try it again. I got a new request from Professor Mirror, which I have no idea what that means. I've never seen that pop up before. I'm ready for it to happen. Come on. Come on. Are you okay, buddy? Here's some apples for you. All right. I'm sorry that happened. Oh, he didn't want it. He threw it back. He doesn't give a shit about apples. Are you kidding? He just wants meat. Perfect. I got it that time. Who would have thought that the meteorites from the sky would like to eat apples? Let's go, baby! Let's get that scoring done. And now we got level 2 sand and level 2 night sand. Awesome. Now we have the glowy glows, which is probably going to be really helpful with the meteorite Pokemon. Because they're probably going to want a glowy glow. That's right up their wheelhouse. Now that we've got the Crystal Bloom info, I've got something to report. I hope you're excited. And I hope you totally don't know what it is. Although it's going to be green orbs now, because we gave you blue orbs and yellow orbs for the previous places when you brought back this photo. So I think it's safe to assume that we're going to be doing the same thing with these ones. And because the crystal bloom in the desert is green, we're going to be giving you green orbs. Very exciting stuff. Welcome back. I finished analyzing the Illumina phenomenon as it occurs on Voluca Island. So without further ado, here you go. Illumina orbs for Voluca Island are green. Use them to take your research even further. Whoa! Oh my god! Did you take this photo, Todd? Great job, Todd, rubbing your success and victory in my fucking face. You dink, you dink bitch. Who's Freya? I don't know who the fuck Freya is. Get Freya's shit out of my face. Spoilers! I don't think we've tried either of them out uh, as a two-star level yet, so we'll try the sand day first, and then we'll go back to the night. Sounds good to me, brother. Okay. This is a hunch, but I have a feeling you'll find what? I wish I, I wish I read. Oh no! Whoa, I knew it. I knew that that would stop it. Whoa, there he is. That's the dragon guy I was talking about. That those little like orange things turn into. Oh, is that what I got? Did he come out? Was he the one making the sandstorm? Beautiful. I'm so happy. I love him. He's one of my favorites. He's like a newer dragonite. God, he's so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, where are we? Where are we going to? What are we looking at? Oh yes, please. Oh yes, please. Perfect. Do you like the music? Do you like the music? You're glowing. Wake up. Wake up, friend. Dang, what's going on with him? It's. It almost feels like he's not supposed to be here. <laughs> Oh, whoa. Hey, hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, shit. He's angry. I missed when he was getting woken up. What's happening? What's happening? My controller's vibrating. Oh, they're everywhere. This, this map just seems so unbelievably dangerous. Do you like music? Can I charm you? A lot of angry Pokemon in the desert, it looks like. Nice. Completed! Whoa, the first one to get all four photos for! You've completed Score Up Beast page. I knew you had it in you. Thanks. Thanks, Professor. I knew I had it in me, too. Flygon. Flygon Jin. Tyranitar. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, silver. Not great, but... Th meh. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. 
I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. All right, let the meeting begin. First of all... Hey, Professor! You figured out what we're gonna do next, right? That I did. I'm glad you're as eager as ever, Phil. Come on, tell us! I'm getting there. Hold your fucking horses, you impatient cuck. Our next research site will be a volcano. Alright, that's intense! Uh, no, Phil, that would be if we went camping. <laughs> Get it? Intense? I'm a punny guy. Will we be okay? Absolutely. You survived the desert after all, so why not up the difficulty? Uh, hopefully we'll have one less kid to worry about after this. We just reinforced the Neo-1 for ex extreme safety. Extreme! Thanks, Phil. Can Pokemon really live in a volcano? Of course they can. Haven't you seen the first Pokemon snap? That's what we need you to go find out. Best of luck out there. We could just ask Todd. He, uh, many years ago, he went to a volcano and took pictures of a Charizard and a bunch of other really dangerous Pokemon. They breathed fire at him. He seemed fine, but you know what? Uh, they might have gone extinct, so we'll just send three brand new kids out to that volcano and see what happens. All right. Bye bye I don't want to go there yet. I'm having fun at the desert, hmm? What's it called, though? This is Fire Flow Volcano, and it already looks dark as shit. Gotta do the day one more time and maybe go the other direction? Maybe? I don't know. I want to get the picture of him sl slip-slapping that rock around, though. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll, 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 we'll play it by ear, you know? Eat an apple, damn it. Come on. What are you doing? Just eat the damn thing. It's sitting right there! Thank you! Jesus. Wasting my damn time. Stupid fucking rock snakes. You're an abomination. God didn't make you. Yep. Level three, baby. Amazing. Your research on this course is going great. Make sure you're being thorough with other areas, too. I will, fucker. I'm trying to level this one up for now. This is the desert episode. I don't want to desert my desert family. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Come this way. Come this way, come this way. He got his apple. I didn't expect him to take an apple and fly off. All right, well, hopefully we got a better photo, I guess. I don't know, man. This is difficult. All right, well, you know what? We made significant progress uh, with the desert world, and we got a little bit of progress in the other worlds as well, which I'm sure I sprinkled in bits and pieces here in the episode. I think that's how I'm going to continue to do these episodes. Every episode from now on, I'm going to focus primarily on the new places we unlocked. And then I'll sprinkle in the old areas here and there if anything new happened in them. Because I'm still going to be playing those and leveling those up. So anytime I level up the beach or the desert or the forest jungle, like any of those things, I will start the episode off with those new things before we head into the brand new areas. So hopefully that's a good format formula for you guys. If you want to see something else, let me know. But I'm having a blast with this game. I do want to finish it here on the channel with all of you. So I hope you're enjoying this journey with me because, man, I love this game. I love it. Uh, but thank you all so much. Once again, go ahead, subscribe, like, comment on the video. All of that helps me out immensely and lets me know that you all are enjoying this. Uh, let's me know to continue doing this because this channel is my passion um, and the more receptive you guys are to the content I'm making, the more likely I am to continue making that content. So like I said, if you have any suggestions on anything else you'd like to see, any other games, uh, you want more time with me just face to face without games, just tell me what you want to see. We'll make it happen. We'll sprinkle it in. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. See ya. Watch this video next. Oh, or maybe this one's more your style. That's that's nice. This little circle is covering up my face right here. I, I wonder what it is. You should you should click it.